Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again on the modern rock scene. And today we are going to be looking at two types of glass used in jewelry making. That is the Italian Mille Fiore and just slag glass that can be used for um, making gorgeous jewelry. I know enough uh, Spanish, Italian, uh, to know what this means. Mille Fiore is thousands of flowers. So here's our first example. This slab of glass um, has already been cut to about a quarter inch thickness and it's ready to be worked. I wonder how much we can see as far as uh, translucency there but uh, I might do an in-studio st shot to display that a little bit better in just the side profile so you can see how they do that. Real pretty. Um, here is another block. This is how it's produced in the rough. A whole different color scheme here. Pretty fascinating and right here it uh, reveals how they make this because there's enough of the material oh this is an end part that's why that's like that now how about that tube after tube of little flower um things um cylinders okay that that was an added bonus i didn't know that i would find that Okay, and there we have our second Mille Fiore. And here's the third. Also, it is an uncut block. You have to remember when working with glass that it can cut to very micronically thin um, sharpnesses. So you've always got to be kind of really careful about handling it as I have learned repeatedly. There we go, it dries off really fast. And that is just so beautiful on the black, in my humble opinion. And now let's take a look at just some uh, other types of slag glass that can be cut in the same way that we do a natural rock. And here's one very odd piece that caught my attention. I cannot see him so... Uh, photonically backlit here. There we are. And uh, just a very strange little mass of maybe waste glass or something uh, that just dripped down from a project somebody was working on. That's kind of nice. Okay, now this is my favorite type of slag glass right here. And it's called cobalt slag. and uh, it puts out sort of a really, a black light. So this is something I do enjoy working with a little bit. And it's got really nice signs of that amazing color. So this is a pure cobalt color. That's kind of all I know about that. Here is another one of these cobalt ones. And light will flow completely through this. I keep one above a, a lamp just to, just to really see it shine. Okay, and um, another example, this one is a really odd, I don't know why I captured my attention some, but uh, that's a piece of slag glass. Some really neat patterning on it. Pink and green, kind of preppy or something, I don't know. Um, but I could think of a million uses for this. 
And here you can see where the parts were melting back together, right there. So, there, I think that's gonna cover it for uh, our slag glass and uh, Mille Fiore today. So uh, thanks for joining me. Um, do stay tuned for the synthetics. Uh, it's gonna be a limited list of items, but uh, I'm sure you will enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy making that. Thank you. All right, here's one that I missed. So I'm going to put this into the series and it is a, uh, another slag glass. This one, I can see what's happened in here. The crafts person who was working on whatever they were working on, uh, mixed about an even amount of cobalt glass. So we still get some of that really pretty blue in there, but it's a lot clearer because they've included another color, a specific color called sapphire. Um, and that is what we have here in this large piece. Very pretty, so I just wanted to get that in there.